Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and I have the American Blade Works Model 1 version 6 here. And if you did not watch my review, it's a little gritty, okay? So I put some new Gillian bearings inside here, which have made the action far better. Far, far better, hands down. But it's still a little... It's still a little gritty. Now, I know that that is from the detent ball rubbing on this surface right here. See the ball rolling around on the surface? I know that's what it's from. So I'm going to fix that. Now, you can do this on any knife that you have the grittiness from, from that, if it's from the detent ball. Now you can also do your bearing races and things like that. You just want to be careful not to touch anything outside of the areas that you do because it will show. Uh, now, what, what do I need? I need these rubber polishing bits because they won't damage the finish, but they're, um, they're kind of squishy, but they're also hard at the same time. And they have an abrasive on the finish. And then a Dremel. Everybody should have a Dremel. I'm going to link these, this stuff down in the description. So if you, uh, yeah, if you want to pick up some of these things, like I said, in the description. So right now I am going to take this thing apart really quick. Now you can see I have the Gillian bearings here. Now this surface is nice and smooth. Not worried about that surface. Set these to the side. But what I am worried about is this surface right here. Now the track is breaking in and if I left it alone, it would eventually break itself. And you see how smooth it is getting, but it's still, you know, it's still rolling over stonewash. We got a detent ramp. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trace that one area. Now, if you do not have a Dremel, there are other things you can do. You can take like the corner of a small strop with compound and you can, but like I said, you want to make sure not to touch anything else and you can clean it up a little bit like this. It just takes a long time. A very long time so you can do that and it's not gonna work as good as the Dremel but it will work um, it, you know you could smooth it out but let's use the Dremel and trace this line without touching anything else and see how it does also you can buy a kit just like this and you will have just about everything in here you will need for small mods on a knife i will also link something like this in the description it has all your diamond bits it has so many different things in here aluminum oxide bits this thing has been so handy for me and it has the rubber polishing bits so like i said i will link this kit in the description Look at it so far. Got a little bit on top I gotta do.
That seems very smooth already, and that was very fast. So you just want to be careful not to hit outside where the track is. Yeah, this is wider than what the track is, but I'm pretty sure nothing will really be exposed. It should look good, and it'll definitely function a lot better. I think I need to hit... Sorry, right there, just a little bit more, but I'll check it really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pretend like it's on the knife. So a little bit does pop out of the top, but the scales are going to hide that. So we have, yeah, it's, it's going to be... Just a little tiny bit more. I almost don't want to hit it. But right there. I'm, you know what? I'm already this far. I might as well hit it really quick. All right, let's put it back together after wiping it down, cleaning it off, and we'll see how it does. Now, you could do your bearing race. Mine's pretty good, and it already has a good track. And I can, these Gillian bearings, they break in a track pretty fast over time. So I'm not really worried about that specifically on this, specifically because I have these, these, uh, these Gillian bearings in there. If it was the other ones, I would possibly do that. Now, if it's possible, while it's like this, you can pop it out of the detent, and this is after you know after you polish it, you still want to break a detent track in. That's very important. Now we have a lot smoother surface to start off from rather than a stonewash surface, because the more the detent track breaks in, the more grit is going to be on that track, and you know so you can go and. Make sure it's clicked in all the way. Make sure everything's nice and solid. And put pressure right there on where the detent ball is. And just a little bit. Don't put a ton. But help it break itself in a little bit. It'll just help speed it up a little bit. Go all the way open and closed. This one's a little frustrating because it likes to pop out. But... Because after putting it together, you're going to want to flip it for 30 minutes or so to break that track in anyways. In this case, I'm going to do it right now like this and then open and close it for about 30 minutes to an hour. All right, guys. So before I show you how smooth it is, I just want to say I am very happy with this knife now. One, the lockup is better. It's fixed. Even if I go very, very, very slow, it doesn't give me early lockup and it's very solid. Before, it would fail if I did it nice and slow. So now it locks up no matter what. Another thing, it's nice and centered. The sound is almost completely gone. But there is a little bit left. That will go away in a couple weeks. Um, now, after I got done putting pressure on the detent ball um, with the liner exposed and I was going back and forth, after that, I put it back together and I opened and closed it for about 30 minutes to an hour. And I did that because no matter what, the detent track has to break in. No matter how smooth I make that surface, it's going to have to break in the detent track, which 
is what I want. You know, um, I want to. I wanted to rush it a little bit because before it would have took and taken who knows how long because it was trying to do it on a stone wash surface rather than a nice smooth surface. So now it's at least being able to break in on a smooth surface. So after putting the tension on, opening and closing it a bunch of times, trying to break in the track or rushing, breaking in the track, I opened and closed it for about 30 minutes after putting it all back together. And now the action is even better. It's very, very smooth, not fall shut action, but so much better than it was. And the, the sound will absolutely go away once that D10 track is finished breaking in. And I should have said this from the start, the way you can tell that it's the bearings or sorry, the D10 ball and not the bearings is you want to release the lock bar tension and see if it's smooth without the lock bar tension you see how it just free falls without the lock bar tension but then once i put the tension from the lock bar on there now all of a sudden it's not free falling and that's supposed to happen but the but you can tell which one's the problem when you do that because if it's ultra smooth without the lock bar tension and then all of a sudden you put lock bar tension and it stops being as smooth as it was well then you know it's the detent so which that's supposed to happen. It's just that whether or not it's smooth when you, you know, go like this. Is it smooth or is it gritty? And in this case, it is very smooth now. And I can tell that it's only going to continue to get smoother and smoother. And in a fast pace now. Very, very smooth. Like I said, not quite fall shut action, but definitely drop shuddy so i'm gonna link all the tools and everything i use down below and so if you guys want to get them you guys can i am so much happier with this knife now and i can tell just man over the next couple weeks i'm just gonna get happier and happier and happier and in all reality you could stay just like this and i am perfectly happy with it um so there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace